Hello again, friends. Well, we're all feeling a bit of relief, aren't we? As we see people in Great Britain being vaccinated against the COVID-19 virus. Canada has approved the Pfizer vaccine and the first doses are expected here sometime next week. And although two doses are the planned for regimen, it seems clear that there's quite a bit of protection after 14 days from just the first shot. Well, that's good news. I'm so glad that seniors and frontline workers are getting some protection now and more and more of them are going to get it going forward. And then the next layers, people of certain ages and down through different communities until all of us that want the vaccine can get it. Then we can all feel protected going forward from this virus and perhaps life is in some regard as we knew it can resume. This all has me thinking today about protection. The Bible makes some pretty astounding statements about protection when it says, when my spirit grows faint within me, it is you who watch over my way. You Lord will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked. Well, I think we all have felt pretty vulnerable and needy during these long months of sickness and lockdown, isolation, uncertainty in this area and that. Today and every day, the good news is that God offers us protection. God offers himself as a safe and sure place for us to find rest and security. This is how the Bible describes it. Many of us will know these familiar words. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. If you say the Lord is my refuge and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent. And so that's what we want to pray into today. Pray to not only just say that God is our refuge, but make him our dwelling place. Let's do that. Heavenly Father, we come to you. We come to you in prayer. Because we know there's no other safe place to be today than to be close to you. Close enough to be even in your shadow, as these verses tell us. We thank you for being strong when we're weak. We thank you for being a place of refuge when all around us seems crazy and out of control. We thank you for always being dependable and true to your word. We can trust you. Lord, along with the writer of the psalm, we can say you are my hiding place. You will protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. Lord, here we are again today because we need that safe refuge that you offer from everything that's going on around us. Whether it's case numbers of the virus that remain stubbornly high here and around the world, or death rates that are pretty discouraging day over day. I mean, we had our, our highest death rate yesterday. It was terrible. And whether it's um, perhaps the stress of wondering about loved ones and a variety of other unknowns in this pandemic season. Lord, we need refuge. We need a safe place. We need a secure place. And so that's what we're coming to you today to find. And Lord, we long for the security that finding refuge in you can bring. A security so deep and so steady that we can even sing for joy. Because in spite of our circumstances, we'll be okay. We won't necessarily have all the answers we know. We, uh, we will still um, need to be living physically distant from others for a while. And that's not easy. But in our hearts and in the deep places of our soul where we need contentment and rest. Lord, I know we'll find that when we lean on you and remember that you are surrounding us with love and protection. Lord, we just want to say again today, you are all we need. 
You will give us exactly what will help us have a good day today. And not just a day to get through, but a day that's meaningful, purposeful, and joyful. A day of blessing others and a day of being blessed and satisfied ourselves. And so, Lord, we just want to kind of sum up all our prayers with the wonderful words of assurance that we find in Psalm 121 when it says, I lift my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Lord, you won't let our foot slip. You who watch over us, you won't slumber. Indeed, you who watch over us will neither slumber nor sleep. Lord, you watch over us. And Lord, you're our shade at our right hand. The sun won't harm us by day nor the moon by night. You, Lord, will keep us from all harm. You will watch over our life. You will watch over our coming and going, both now and forevermore. Oh, Lord, we take refuge. We find peace. And we're going to settle into that today. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, let's do that. Let's have a good day in the care and protection of the living God. Have a great day.